Leslie's first day running the extractor today. Yes, I know you got separated from them. <laughs> Running the extractor. So I'm in the trusty, dusty 4440 from turtle to half, half bunny, full bunny. I think I got it. I think we're almost full. Shut her off. Okay. Much warmer in here, isn't it? <laughs> it ripped a little bit. Come on, Leslie, talk. Big day, Leslie's first day running the extractor today. We're cleaning up wheat bags. Robbie had to head to town. We've already got a flat tire on the semi. We hauled yesterday for a little bit, and uh, this morning we noticed that we had a flat tire. Copeland's in the background. He's eating an apple fritter, and we're so all, am I. We're all eating it. I'm happy because I'm fed. <laughs> we're all happy. Minus 11 out, and we have tons of snow already. We're at Derek's yard right now. Sorry about the wobbles. Yes, that is a big spot on my dash from my dirty gloves from yesterday because we had an oil leak. Anyways, off to the field we go. So we're at the Westby yard right now. We're going to go pick up the tractor. We had it parked in the Quonset just to make sure it'll start. Ooh, that's a big snow drift right there. Anyways, there's the tractor. Now we're gonna go get hooked onto the green bagger. They're in the trusty, dusty 4440. Yes, I know you got separated from them. <laughs> I'll follow them out to the field. That'll be in the tandem. I'll be there. I'm not too sure where the dog's gonna be, or Copeland. Probably with Matt. I'm running the extractor, and I think I got this right. So I'm in the trusty, dusty 4440. I engaged my PTO. Got it up to uh, from turtle to half half bunny, full bunny, to about 1500. And then I engage the roller with this lever. So I think I I think I got it. Yeah, I'm rolling the the bag. I think we're almost full. Shut her off. Okay. I did it, and they're going to go on loads, and I'm just going to hang out. She got her way. She's enjoying life. Hey, it's much warmer in here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, pretty cute. My little sidekick.
my girl wants in. Look how many times we had to take and bring an auger out to your house. Good thing I show up in the last two minutes, eh? What's that? Good thing I show up in the last two minutes. <laughs> You're the savior. Whoa, that's good. Probably won't be much there anyway. Oh, there's the deer will have it. Yeah. We'll just take it home to the yard and plug it in, eh? Yeah. And go next week? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking Monday, spend a little bit of time pushing snow, and then Tuesday morning we'll have that meeting to How did I do? Good. Bad. Even though we had a little... You little did bad. <laughs> I did bad. We had a couple little minor mishaps. mishaps. But that's life. Yeah, I almost ran over you when I had to go forward. <laughs> uh, and pop the clutch. you never yeah. driven that tractor, right? No, I awesome. Had. That's a hard tractor. That's a hard tractor to drive. And then I kind of ripped the grain bag at the end. No, it's not. Wasn't totally straight. Yeah, it was. It was the straightest grain bag that we've ever made. But and that was the straightest grain bag. <laughs> oh boy! And if I have to do that, if I have to do that again, we're gonna have to figure out how how to drive, or how drive, I drive backwards. You're gonna drive the semi or. <laughs> His singing. Uh, I got a match last week. There's like all. He's making. He's making a mess downstairs. And we have our farm meeting. So in 15 minutes. So I'm going to eat lunch. Matt is currently downstairs trying to get his size. The small or the large was a little small. They're nice and soft. <laughs> uh, but today is a great day. We are having our, I would say a biannual. Or is it semi-annual? Semi-annual farm meeting with our advisors. So uh, we're gonna do it all via Zoom, though, uh, before we would meet as a group. So there would be our farm family. So my mom and my dad, Matt and I, Derek, our executive coach, our lender, a couple of our grain grain marketing coaches, and also uh, uh, someone who can help us on the communication front and all the transition um, stuff on the farm because we are currently trying to figure out a good plan of buying my mom and dad's corporation or shares or land. We're trying to figure that all out. So today for the meeting, uh, four hour Zoom meeting. So we're making coffee. Matt's got his bunny hug on. And I comb my hair. <laughs> uh, so in the four hour meeting, we're going to go through our financials. We're going to go through our grain marketing plan. Uh, we're going to go through some cropping stuff, kind of an agronomy update. And then I'm going to talk about um, some of the things that I've been doing on the side. Um, and what else are we talking about today? Kind of an overview of what happened this year too. Yeah, an overview of the successes, the challenges, how uh, harvest went, how the crops were. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and things to improve upon. Then we get people's advice, their input, and then we have a guest speaker to talk about the future of farming. So it'll be pretty cool. So yeah. So uh, we're gonna prep for our meeting, eat some lunch. Drink some coffee. What are you he's doing? Making, he's making fun of my pose. I had my foot up because my, my legs hurt from skiing. My he's stems. Making, he's making fun of my legs. But he's currently, Matt, what are you making me for lunch? Um, this is great, by the way. You already had lunch at like 10, 10 a.m. I can eat three, four, five <laughs> times a day. Uh, we are salad, oh, what is it called? 
A taco salad? A taco salad. Ooh, yeah. But I broke into the tacos I wasn't supposed to break into. Yeah, the, there's these tacos from Manitoba. I have to show you. And they are so good. They're like thin, thinner than a regular nacho. It's a nice flavor. And nice flavor. These ones are ranch. But, and they come from... Oh, Alberta. Oh, no. No, sorry. St. Anne. I saw the A. St. Anne, Manitoba. So great things come from Manitoba. Okay, so we're going to eat. I'm going to eat. And here, we're going to have our meeting. Here, bring this over here and show this. I still can't get over this. My parents never throw anything <laughs> out, but look at the date on this. This well, is back when they plastic brought, caused cancer. They brought us cookies, and your mom... Mom had cookies in it, which was really, really nice. Just but this was the container. We were like, oh my goodness, it's older than me. The container comes from the Dairy Producers Cooperative in Regina. How cool is that? And Oh, it was ice cream. It was. It was good ice cream. Well, I haven't done a video in a long time. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Uh, anyways, uh, we picked up all six green bags that we had. Uh, Actually, we're on our last one here right now. Um, we we'll finished up here in about an hour, hour and a half, uh, picking up the bags. So, anyways, it's been a success and beautiful weather, so can't complain there. I didn't take any video, but uh, I'm in the old trusty dusty 4440. Uh, it broke down this year, uh, here about three weeks ago, and got a new door for it. It was broke down in here and the door was bent out on the bottom. I fixed it about four or five times. Finally, we just had to have that we're gonna put a new one in. I ordered a cab kit, because the cab is looking a little shabby. Yeah, we're gonna put a new headliner into everything, and uh, we're gonna change this old seat too, because it's leaking more oil than anything. A little picture of what we're doing. Oh, we better engage the hydraulics here. Yeah, the last of it here, so. Probably another 2,000 bushels more and we'll have her, have her done. So there's the old Peterbilt. And my fearless compadre will not sit in the cab. We'll, we'll rather sit on top of the snow drift along the bag and freeze. So, but anyways, having lots of fun.